chosen. I am born to be blessed. We are chosen to release and receive prophetic blessing. We need to, to have Jesus in our lives. There is no lockdown from heaven. There is no lockdown of the blessings of God. Like me, if the negated spiritual authority to speak blessings to you, it will turn into flesh. That's why everywhere we should be attending. We should be sensitive. We don't have to receive the blessing. We don't have to release the blessing. The enemy's strategy has turned into blessing. We don't need to be lockdown, it turns out into blessing. We don't need to be in church. We don't need to be in service. We don't need to be in service. Hello! Good morning po sa inyong lahat. And uh, this is meal time. Alam ko po na marami sa inyo ngayon ang busy, preparing for your lunch, at maaring break time nyo rin sa inyong mga work. Or if you're a mom, you're doing something in the kitchen. Pero ngayon pong araw na ito, hindi po pagkain. Physical ang ating... Uh, pag-aaralan, kundi pagkain spiritual po. It's a great blessing, it's a great honor to be able to be a part of this uh, ministry of Mommy Bishop, Mealtime, because our heart is always about feeding our spirit with uh, spiritual strength, spiritual food. So right now, I'm just really blessed. Thank you po, Mommy Bishop, for this opportunity. I missed you and I love you. Kagabi lang magkasama kami, pero everyday ko siyang nami-miss. And uh, yeah, so today po, um, I just wanted to start with a prayer. So kung andyan po kayo ngayon, salamat po sa lahat na nag-tune in ngayon sa aking mga ka-churchmate. Andyan po sila, salamat sa inyo. So right now, I'm just gonna start with prayer. So samahan niyo po ako sa isang uh, panalangin. Lord, salamat po ama namin Diyos na dakila sa araw na ito. We thank you Lord God for your grace. Every morning is a new day because you are good. Hanggang ngayon, Panginoon, the sun is still up, still shining para sa iyong mga anak. Salamat po sa kalakasan. Salamat po sa blessing. Thank you, Lord God, for what you are doing in our lives. You are great. You are worthy. You are so good. Lord, today, bless your people. Strengthen your people as we hear your word, Lord God. May your presence come at uh, palakas niyo po ang bawat isa. Salamat, Ama. Gabayan niyo po ang inyong lingkod sa araw na ito sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen. Kamusta po kayo at uh, kumusta po ang inyong mga family today? Alam ko na marami sa si inyo ang meron pang nararamdamang bigat ng COVID. But you know, uh, napakabuti po ni Lord sapagkat hanggang ngayon, Nakatayo pa rin po tayo. Until now, we are still standing because of the grace of God amidst all the crisis and the pandemic. Uh, the children of the Lord are still standing. You know, uh, nabasa ko po, I've read that the unemployment in the Philippines has its record to the one of the highest record. Eh, ngayon po, ngayon panahon na ito, is in this time. The survey said that 45.5% of the country's adult population have become jobless, half of whom lost their jobs during this pandemic. 27, 27 million lost their jobs last July, and it has grown since, since then. I've heard that we've reached about 51 million Filipinos lost their job this time. And I know a lot of families, a lot of individuals now are very stressed. The stress talaga hindi mo na um, hindi mo na halos malaman ang yung gagawin. And it can take uh, a toll on us physically. You know, in 1900, top 10 killers uh, were infectious, infectious diseases 
uh, at, at, at ito ay related lahat sa stress. These are all related to stress. And right now, I know a lot of people, even pastors, even leaders. I know some of you, some of the churches now, not just in the Philippines, but even around the world, are still not uh, getting together. You know, uh, still in their houses doing uh, internet churches, so online churches. So the stress of the pastors, the stress of the leaders. Alam ko miss na miss yun ang yung mga members. Uh, you miss the church. You miss the worship. You miss your brothers and sisters. And you know. It's not easy. So how do we deal with this stress and how to overcome it during this time? Today, marami po ang nagpapakamatay sa matinding depression dulot ng stress. You know, the societal rate has increased tremendously, especially in this time. Tingnan niyo po ang yung mga sarili. Sometimes you think you are okay, but really you are anxious, you are stressed. If you, if this applies to you, that maybe you are stressed. If decision making is hard for you, both major and minor, maybe you are stressed. Or if you are uh, like excessive uh, daydreaming or fantasizing. Alam niyo yung mga stress na tao, minsan sabi niya, I want to get out of this. Lord, bring me somewhere. Or I want to get away from this. Everything. Pag yan ang nasa isip mo, maaring stress ka. Kapag na-increase yung iyong uh, paggamit ng gadget, sobrang social media, sobrang yung mga bagay na sobra, minsan because of stress yan. Kapag ikaw naman ay kakaroon ng kung tawagin nila is sign of aging daw yun, pero maraming stress. Ang ngayon, ang kahit sa pagsusulat, kahit sa pagkasalita, even just talking, you know, you are you are not concentrating, lack of concentration, that's a sign of stress. Yung bigla ka nabablock out pag may kausap ka, and then you would say, oh, what, am, what am I saying? Nakalimutan ko yung sinasabi ko, ano nga ba ulit yun? Yan, baka stress ka. If you are excessively worrying, excessively worrying, kung wala pang nangyayari, sobrang worry ka na. Diba? Yan, isang, isang sign niya ng stress. Meron ka bang kilala na tao na bigla-bigla na lang nag-outburst ng anger? An outburst outburst of anger, that's a sign of stress. Yan. If this apply to you ngayong araw na ito, gusto ng Panginoon, lahat ng stress, lahat ng depression, anxiety, mawala ngayon sa'yo. Hindi, hindi tayo exempted dyan, even men and women of God. Sometimes, we don't know, we are stressed na. So, minsan naman yung palagi kang makakalimutin. Forgetfulness, appointments, deadlines, dates. If you're feeling that, maybe you're stressed. So, yung frequent be, frequent feeling of being negative, yan. Isa po yung sign ng stress. Minsan naman po yung unexplained aches and pains. Yung minsan yung sabi mo, ang sakit ng likod ko, ang sakit ng katawan ko, parang di ako makahinga, parang mabigat yung dip 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 ko i cannot breathe you know yung unexplained aches and pains an increase of physical complaints such as headaches back pains aching muscles stomach pain that's a sign of stress you know the thing is this stress is real yeah amen stress is real and we all suffer from it if not cured it will lead us to depression and a lot of even right now a lot of uh, men and women of god even children of God, are um, into depression. Marami po tayong kilala ngayon ng mga pastor at mga lingkod ng Diyos, kahit mga manggagawa natin, ang ngayon ay talagang undergoing depression because of this stress. At alam nyo po kung ang mga, mga pastor at ang mga leader ay nakakaramdam ng gantong stress, lalo na po ang ating mga miyembro. So dapat po tayo magpakalakas, lakas. Amen? So how are we going to deal with this stress? You know, in the Bible, the Apostle Paul gave us, gave us the, the key to overcoming this stress. Sabi sa Philippians 4, 4-9, to Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Paul is saying this inside a prison cell. Nung sinulat po ito ni Pas Apostle Pablo, siya ay nasa loob ng kulungan. <laughs> Kaya sobrang stress siya nito. But ang sabi niya, Rejoice in the Lord again. I say rejoice. Let your reasonable be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer 
and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Ayan na po ang susi. Hindi madali. Pero number one is you have to change your perspective. You have to change our perspective. There's a lot of people, they try all kinds of things to cope up with stress. They do meditation, yoga, aerobic exercise, deep breathing, visualization, yan. Uh, diet and time management. All of these are well and good and can have beneficial effects on stress. But the problem is they don't get the root causes of stress. Stress really isn't caused by our circumstances, but rather our response to those circumstances that, that's driven by our beliefs. Ang stress daw ay hindi, di, hindi ito cost ng mga pinagdadaanan natin, kundi papano tayo nagre-response, papano tayo uh, sumasagot doon sa mga pangyayari natin sa buhay. Ang tanong, kapatid, ano ba ang response mo? What is your response to that problem that's causing you stress right now? You have to change your perspective right now through our faith in Christ Jesus. Sabi sa John 10, 10, I come that they may have life and have it abundantly. John 14, 27, sabi dito, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. So do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You know, look at the big picture. Always look at the big picture. Alam niyo po itong coronavirus na ito sa marami para talagang isang malaking ba, ano, dagok sa buong mundo. Pero alam niyo po ba yung mga taong binabago nilang kanilang perspective, kahit ano pang problema niyan, ang, tili, ang tingin nila dyan ay isang opportunity. Ilan pong pamilya ang naging close, lalo na palapit sa isa't isa, nung nagkaroon ng coronavirus. Hindi sila nakalabas ng bahay. Ano pong nangyari? Nagkaroon sila ng matinding banding sa kanilang mga anak. Yeah, ilang mga manggagawa ang sobrang busy sa ministry. Sobrang busy sa church, pero dahil sa COVID, COVID, nagkaroon ng time sa kanilang mga anak, sa kanilang mga asawa. Amen? You see, the Lord wants, l- lagi may purpose si Lord. The enemy meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Amen? Ilan sa inyo ang nat- nat- nawala ng trabaho? Maybe you lost a job during this pandemic, but see, God has opened a new and better job for you. Marami sa inyo ang nagkaroon ng mga online selling, nagkaroon ng mga businesses, di ba? Ngayon, nalaman mo, isa ka palang businessman. Amen? Maybe you are overcome by financial burdens, but you know, right now, God is telling you, there's a provision coming to you, so He wants you to trust Him. Some of you, hinayaan ng Diyos mangyari ang mga bagay na yan because God wants you to trust Him. Hindi mo ba naisip na nung nagkaroon ng problema, nagkaroon ng mga ganyang uh, circumstances, hindi ba lumakas lalo ang pagtiwala mo sa Diyos? Hanggang ngayon naman kumakain ka pa rin. Hanggang ngayon nakakagising ka pa rin. Malakas ka pa rin. Nakakatayo ka pa rin ng iyong kama. Amen? Praise God. So maybe you lost a loved one, a relationship. Sometimes the blessing is not on what God gives, but what God takes. Amen? Look at our situation. With that. Ang, ang maraming tao, they, they, they look at our situation, their situation, with a microscope. Masyado nilang magnify ang mga bagay-bagay. Pero alam nyo po, sometimes gusto ng Panginoon, tignan lang natin yung malaking big picture. Huwag nating isa-isahin kasi ma- ma- masisiraan ka ng bait niyan. Instead, remember that God is the author and finisher of our faith. Lahat ng sinimula ng Diyos sa iyo, tatapusin niya yan para sa kanyang kalawalhatian. Knowing that the end from the beginning, God will provide all our necessities, even for the very present. You know, God's promises that He will never leave you, nor forsake you. So just keep your eyes on Jesus. Maniwala po kayo. Just maintain that joy in the Lord. Kasi ang baguhin niyo lang po ang perspective. Wala pong mangyayaring masama sa inyo. Amen? He, amen. Hindi po nagkulang ang Panginoon. Tama po yan. Hindi po talaga siya nagkulang. Sometimes we just have to slow down, learn to pause and breathe. You know? Nakakapagod mag-isip ng mag-isip. Sino po napapagod mag-isip ng mag-isip? Nakakapagod mapagod. Kaya wag niyo po pagurin yung sarili. <laughs> Kaya yung mga relationship na yan na hanggang ngayon bigat na bigat ka, bitawan mo, let go, breathe. Amen. Kung meron ka mga bayarin, may mga utang ka, may mga uh, meralko, tubig, lahat yan, school, 
hindi na po matatapos yan. Matatapos po ang COVID, pero ang lahat po ng bayarin natin, tuloy-tuloy lang po. <laughs> Amen? Totoo po yan. Kaya, ilang bang problema ang dumaan sa'yo, kapatid, na ngayon, napagtagumpayan mo pa rin naman, ilang sakit, hanggang ngayon ay napagtagumpayan mo at okay ka naman. Remember this, three months from now, everything you are stressing about won't even matter. Kaya breathe and turn it to God. Hinga muna. Hmm, bigay mo sa Panginoon. Amen? Mabuti siya. Hindi nagkulang ang Panginoon, magpasalamat ka sa Diyos, be thankful, rejoice, dahil hanggang ngayon, buhay ka, humihinga ka, malakas ka, maraming tao ang natulog, hindi na nagising, pero ikaw, Natulog ka, ginigising ka pa, ayaw mo pang gumising dahil sarap na sarap ka sa tulog mo. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. So right now, I want to encourage you. When you're dealing with stress, whatever circumstances you are in right now, just praise the Lord. Switch to praise mode or switch to worship mode. Amen. Alam mo yung isip po natin, dyan po na shape yung ating kalagayan. Our thoughts shape our brain, yan. In Philippians 4, 8, 7, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Punuin mo ang isip mo ng mga pasasalamat, pagpupuri sa Panginoon. Amen? Alam niyo po ba na you are created to worship God? If you do not worship and praise God, there's something missing in your life. Because I really believe that we are all created to worship God. Our worship doesn't just go here on earth or stop at this moment of age, but it goes throughout eternity. Amen? Kaya kung hindi ka nag-worship, hindi ka nagpe-praise, may stress ka talaga. Kaya lahat ng pinagdadaanan mo ngayon, kapatid, daanin mo sa pagpupuri at pagsamba sa Panginoon. Imbis na nakikinig ka ng mga worldly song na nakakapagpadaw ng spirit mo, makinig ka ng mga worship songs. Pray, pray, you know? You are made to worship. Ito po ang ating supreme calling from the Lord. We are worshipers. Kaya pag hindi po natin nagagawa yung ating calling, yung ating supreme calling sa Panginoon, may kulang po. May kulang po, may nawawala. Amen? So right now, I encourage you, when every time you're dealing with stress, anxiety, depression, just switch to praise mode. Just worship Him. Amen? Friends, my brothers and sisters, we need to understand that, you know, whatever you do, whoever you are, you are a worshiper first before you are a doctor, before you are an engineer, a mother, a father, a student. Whatever you do, you are a worshiper first. Amen? Hindi na po mawawala yan. There's one thing we do on earth that we will continue to do in heaven, and that is worshiping the Lord. Amen? Isaiah 43, 7 says, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I am formed and made. Amen? Kaya kailangan po ngayon, maniwala po kayo, I guarantee you, kung kayo po ngayon ay pagod, kung kayo po ngayon ay stress, kung kayo po ngayon ay nahihirapan, worship God. Amen? Alam niyo po, uh, isa po yan sa tinuro sa amin ng aming Mami Bishop na worship, in worship there's equality and worship is a main attraction. Pag, pag sinasabi po sa church na, oy mag-worship muna tayo bago mag-word, parang appetizer lang ang worship. Worship is not an appetizer. Worship is the main attraction. Worship is a meal. Kaya meal time, worship is a meal. To all eternity, like I said, habang buhay tayong sasamba at magpupuri sa Diyos. Matatapos ang stress, matatapos ang COVID, matatapos ang lahat. Ang worship mananatili. Amen? Alam niyo po, we have to remind ourselves the power of worship. Ano po ba ang kapangyarihan ng worship? Kapag nag-worship po tayo, hindi tayo sumasamba sa Diyos dahil malakas lang tayo, dahil mabuti lang ang Diyos sa atin. Kundi we worship God because He is worthy. He is worthy of all the love, affection of every individual, every creation. God is worthy. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen? At kapag naalala po natin kung sino ang Diyos, lumalakas ang spirito natin sapagkat mayroong mas higher authority over us 
na nagko-cover sa atin at dahil doon lumalakas tayo. And we have to remind ourselves the power of worship and the power of worship is worship is a weapon. It's your weapon. Sabi doon sa Psalms 22.3, You are holy God. You are enthroned on the praises of your people. Alam niyo po itong verse na to, absolutely is very important to every worshippers in the body of Christ. Hindi ko po sinabing worshippers yung mga musicians or singers lang ng church. Every individual in the body of Christ. Every individual kahit wala sa church o sa loob ng church. Amen. Tayo pong lahat ng worshippers. This verse in Psalms 22.3, Holy is the Lord. You, you know, but you are holy. You enthrone on the praises of your people. This is the window to the heart of God because of the invitation that lies in this verse. Out of all the places in the universe that God could choose to place his throne, he will choose to put his thrones in the midst of your circumstances, in the midst of you. Ikaw na nasa problema, ikaw na hindi maayos ang buhay, amen? Imperfect people, imperfect lives, but God would put his throne when you worship him, bababa siya. You know why? Because God wants to be near you. Kasi gusto ng Panginoon mapalapit sa iyo. God is the ultimate lover of our soul. When we begin to worship and when we begin to enthrone God in our praises, wherever you are, that place kung saan ka nagsumasamba, literally becomes the throne room of God. You can be in your room right now, you can be in your car work, you know, you can be in the kitchen right now, maaaring nakaupo ka na, or doing something. But if you begin to worship God, God will come and inhabits that worship. Alam niyo po, nakakagulat, pero yun po talaga yung sabi sa Biblia. You know? Amen? I remember, meron po kami isang young people na nagkaroon po ng sakit at sinugod po siya sa ICU. And uh, during that time, siya po ay unconscious. And the, and the mother called Mommy Bishop and the Holy Bishop to pray for her. At uh, hindi na po siya for 24 hours, hindi po siya kumikibo, unconscious po talaga. And then Mommy Bishop begins to worship and we become to declare the goodness of God over Mika's, Mika's life. At ang, kami pong lahat ng leadership, we pray. And Mommy Bishop, pray over her. And we worship the Lord. Alam niyo po ba, wala pang 30 minutes, lumakas po si Mika. Nagkaroon po siya ng consciousness. Why? Because there's power in worship. Amen? Amen? So every time you're going through stuff in your house, whatever you are facing right now, stress ba yan, depression ba yan, family issues ba yan, relationship issue ba yan, I tell you, I encourage you to worship the Lord. Enthrone Him over every situation, over your situation, over your family, over this nation, kung anong bansa ka po ngayon, just enthrone the Lord. Alam mo, instead of wasting our voice, sa mga walang kwentang bagay, sa kakasigaw, kakakareklamo. Amen? Ano ba yan? Ano ba itong buhay na ito? Kakakareklamo? Huwag natin sayangin ang ating voice. Instead of wasting our voice there, just give it to the Lord. Just worship Him. Hindi niyo ba ba napapansin ang mga Pilipino mahilig sa karaoke? Sino pong naniniwala? Kahit pong saan bansa ako pumunta, pag meron ako na-meet na Pilipino, for sure, may karaoke yon, May karaoke doon sa bahay nila. May wow sing. Why? <laughs> lumalakas sila <laughs> but kumakanta sila because there's something about um, music na nagpapalakas pero ito po eh lumalakas lang sila pang samantala pag kumanta ka sa mga karaoke ganyan para nare-release mo yung anger mo nare-release mo yung stress mo what more if you worship what more of instead of just singing karaoke you start to sing and worship the Lord hindi lang po physical nyo ang lalakas pati spiritual nyo lalakas amen the power of worship. So right now, whatever it is that you're going through right now, just begin to worship Him. I tell you, there's power in worship. If you know the story of uh, King Jehoshaphat, he wins the battle over Moab. Sabi doon sa Labanan uh, you don't have to fight this battle. Take your position and stand firm. You know what is that position? Position of worship. Your position of worship. Kasi wala naman tayong magagawa eh. Ang totoo niya, nang may control ng lahat ng bagay is God. Sa panahon natin ngayon, merong COVID, siguro sabi ng presidente, ang mga frontliner ay ang mga doktor. Well, saludo po tayo sa lahat ng doktor, saludo po tayo sa lahat ng mga nurses. 
Pero kung, kung tayo po lulusubin ng um, ng gera, ng Russia o ng China, kung sino mang bansa, siguro po ang papadala ng ating presidente ay mga militar natin. Pero sa panahon po ni Jehoshaphat, ang ginawa nilang frontliner ay ang mga worshippers. Parang nakakagulat, pero yun po ang instruction ng Diyos sa kanya. At sila'y nagpuri sa Panginoon. They said, give thanks to the Lord. His love endures forever. At ano po nangyari? If you read that story, King Jehoshaphat won the battle because they worshiped the Lord. It's the same thing right now. It's the same thing right now. Whatever you're going through right now, kahit po ano yan, kahit may panahon pa ng pandemic and crisis, one moment of worship can change everything. One moment of worship can change everything. May sakit ka ba ngayon? Maaring nasa bani ka ng karamdaman ngayon. Hindi po maikli ang kamay ng Diyos para hindi ka niya abutin at pagamingin. Ipikit mo lang ang mata mo at bababa ang Diyos at pagagaling at aabutin ka niya. Matatapos yung problema mo, matatapos yan lahat sapagat ang Diyos ay mabuti. Whatever you're going through right now, whatever you're going through right now, I encourage you to worship the Lord. Let your worship be your primary response. Amen. Whatever you're going through right now, let worship be your primary response. Amen. Praise the Lord. Salamat po sa inyong time. Sana po ngayon pagtapos itong meal time, palakasin niyo po ang sarili niyo. Worship the Lord. Thank Him. Imbis na isipin mo yung mga problema mo, isipin mo yung mga ilang pagsubok na pagtagumpayan mo na. Ilang pagsubok na pagdaanan mo pero matibay ka pa rin at nakatayo ka pa rin ngayon. Worship the Lord and thank Him. At alam niyo po, pag sinamba natin ng Diyos, ipapakita niya na lahat ng sinabi mo sa Kanya ay gagawin niya. Pag sinabi mong, Lord, you are great, He will be great. Pag sinabi mong, Lord, I honor you and bless you today, you are my healer, papakita niya na siya ang tagapagpagaling mo. He's your great physician. Amen. So right now, I encourage you, Every time you're going through stuff, stress na yan. <laughs> Marami po sa atin talaga ay uh, facing uh, anxiousness, depression, weariness, weariness, nakakapagod pong mapagod. Breathe, turn it to God, worship Him, just give it to Him. Sabi po sa Matthew 11:28, sabi doon, Come to me, lahat na nabibigit ang lubha, and I will give you rest. Right now, God wants to give you rest. God wants to give you peace that surpasses all man's understanding. Alam niyo, pag yung peace na sinabing, di ba may bayaran ka? Di ba mayroon kang problema? Di ba yung anak mo ganyan? Di ba yung asawa mo ganyan? Di ba yung relasyon mo ganyan? Pero you're very at peace. Hindi nila maunawaan bakit at peace ka pa rin in the midst of these circumstances. Because that peace is the peace of God that surpasses all man's understanding. Na ngayon, kahit may pinagdadaanan ka, punong-puno ka ng kapayapaan. Because that peace, the world cannot give. Hindi ka pwedeng pumunta sa, sa Mercury Drugstore, sabihin mo, pabili nga po ng peace of mind. Kahit napakarami mong pera, hindi mo kayang bilhin ang peace of mind. Pero, si Lord, ang peace of mind, libreng-libre niyang ibibigay sa'yo. Ngayon, at this very moment, just ask Him, Lord, I want peace. Sabi ni Lord sa'yo, I want to give you peace. My peace I give to you. Gusto ng Panginoon ibigay sa'yo ang peace of mind. Ano pong suse? Trust Him. Worship Him. When you worship Him, worship is not song. Worship is not just a song. Hindi po, music, no. Worship is bowing down, surrendering your life to God. Today, surrender your life to God. Worship Him. Just give it all to Him. And I believe, and I guarantee you, ngayong araw na to, pag ginawa mo yan, May magandang bagay, incredible things will happen to you today. Amen? So salamat po sa inyong lahat na nag-tune in. Mahal na mahal po kayo ng Panginoon. And uh, kung ikaw naman ay nag-iisa ngayon at parang wala kang kakampi, at wala kang mapuntahan, at parang wala nang halaga ang iyong buhay, I want you to know that your life matters. Importante ka sa Diyos. Kung hindi ka importante sa maraming tao, I want you to know that you are important to God. 
na iniisip ka ng Diyos ngayon, ikaw, you are important to God. Amen? Kahit nag-iisa ka lang, wala kang kaibigan, wala kang pamilya, mahal na mahal ka ng Diyos. At gusto ng Diyos, bigyan ka ng magandang buhay. Amen? At gusto ng Diyos na makilala mo siya at siyang maghari sa iyong buhay. Amen? So, hindi ka pa nag-iisa, importante ka sa Diyos. So, I encourage you right now, whatever you're going through right now, give yourself to the Lord. Let your worship be your response to every circumstances, stress. I encourage every pastor, right now, every leaders. Alam ko po, marami rin po kayong pinagdadaanan, pero wag po natin kalimutan, manalangin at sumamba sa Panginoon. I know some of you are very busy in the ministry, very busy recording uh, online services, but sit down, breathe, relax, give it to the Lord. Amen. Salamat po sa inyo lahat. Mahal na mahal kayo ng Panginoon. At uh, ngayong araw na ito, alam ko na gusto ipaalala sa inyo ng Diyos na hindi ka nag-iisa. At amen. And uh, as you spend the rest of your day, worship Him. Samahan niyo po ako mag-worship sa Lord. Ako po, maghapon mag-worship sa Panginoon. I'm just gonna lift Him up. Thank Him for all that He has done. I pray healing. I pray a blessing, breakthrough upon breakthrough, strength to strength, glory to glory, faith to faith, in Jesus' name. Maraming po salamat. God bless you all.